tonight I don't want to sleep in my car. So I'm going to try to find a church that I can set my tent up in and so I can sleep flat. I love sleeping in the tent because I have this cool little cushion that's nice, it's flat. I have more privacy, kind of, and there's a cool way to position my car so they can't see tents. So I'm going to try to find a church. See you guys soon. Right now, I'm not thinking I'm going to get much luck with trying to find a church or even a place to set up my tent, but we're going to see how we do this. My tent's set up. I have the pad in, have the sleeping bag on top, and both pillows. I couldn't find a church, but I could find a cool little business park. Uh, it seems to be pretty small. There was a security guard on the other side. I'm hoping he doesn't give me problems. Hopefully he's monitoring that building and not that building. I'm going to make sure that I wake up pretty early so I don't run into any trouble with any employees that like to get here pretty early. Have a good night, guys. So, I'm in my car. I set up my tent and everything, and probably like 30 minutes later, security came. He's like, hey, yeah, unfortunately no camping here. And I was like, ah, I didn't see no overnight parking signs, so I thought it'd be fine. He's like, nah, unfortunately you can't here. And I was like, okay, okay. Drove around for a bit, so I found this neighborhood, and that's where I slept. So now I'm set up here, slept in the back. Book. I slept kind of fine. I kept waking up. I was really cold. The weather app said that it was a low of 60 last night, but it was not a low of 60. I'm wearing a jacket. I have a blanket on. It was a lot colder than that, but I woke up. You know, that's what matters. I don't have a sore neck. My back feels all right, so I think I'm good. So now I'm heading over to the jelly bean factory, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Till then. I'm here now at uh, the Jelly Bean Factory, so I'm gonna go inside. So, here's the hat. I'm taking it off because it looks silly. I just finished touring the jelly bean factory and it was super cool. I didn't really learn much besides the fact they like make the beans and then they put them and soak them in something for like 48 hours or something. I don't know. But I had fun. And that's all that matters. So, I was surprised that there wasn't so many beans going through the process. Now, three weeks of July, they don't do anything at all there sales and stuff. They do not make beans. I found that very interesting. So since that three week period is over, I would think that they would be pumping the beans out, but they're not. So my theory is that they make so many beans all year that they don't always need to make much. So I found that very interesting. That was super cool. For attending the tour, I got free beans. Boom. These ones are Disney princess ones. They're free and it's a good package size too. And then since I have an idea saying that I'm 18 plus, I got these beer ones. They taste like beer. There's no beer in them, so that's why you can be 18 and have them, but it's like, it's airtight. Whoa! I opened it and it was like, <laughs> it smelled like, like somebody cracking open a thing of Bud Light. That was crazy. These actually taste like beer. <laughs> this is the aftertaste too. I have to be 18 to get these. Luckily I'm 19. That would be a good title for the YouTube video. 18 plus only. You know what? You guys don't need to see me eating things. I got this cool journal. The only reason I got the journal is because I need a journal. And this was six dollars. Six dollars! It has their cool little jelly bean watermark on the bottom. And it's, it's you know, it's a journal. I also got this super cool little badge here. Jelly bean holding an American flag. That would be great to put on my Starbucks hat. Also, got these cool postcards. This one is of jelly beans and it says, Greetings from the Jelly Bean Factory. This one says the same exact thing. 
and then one of like jelly bean like chillaxing because this is pretty much what I'm doing right now. But yeah, that's what I got. So overall, I really liked the tour. It was super cool. I would recommend anyone check out this factory. It's a free thing to do. You know, if you're bored one day, go out and do it. You know, why not? It's free. I'm glad I stopped by. Till next time. Who is texting me?